Hi, this is my first lesson to show you how easy it is to draw in Predesign Studio. First, let me introduce myself. Theo, T-H-E-O, and it was a very easy way showing the freehand drawing tool. So, if you can draw on a piece of paper, you can do it on the screen as well. If you are not that gifted, I will show you that you still can draw and make beautiful designs. I will upload more movies to YouTube so we need not to do everything in one lesson. Take your time to watch the movies and try to do it yourself at home. If you do not have Predesign Studio yet, go to our website and download a trial version. Ok, let's erase this one and take the curve tool. Drawing is just clicking from point to point and double click if you would like to have a sharp edge and continue. Afterwards if you would like to change the design a bit, tweak it a bit, just go to the points and drag them to the position you would like to have them. Ok, let's take this as a start. Now select all and let's go to a magic circle. Look at this, the easy way. With the slider bars you can move the spacing and with the sl this slider bar you can move the number of objects. Let's take this one as a start. As the lines are not connected, take the select tools and connect the lines. It's simple by dragging and dropping the lines to each other, the points to each other. and the last one. Easy and simple. Yeah. Um, let's now save it. And we save it, we export it as a DXF because I would like to use it in a computer system for long arm quilters. Let's call it star. Just star. You can move additional information which comes with the design and ok let's keep it sunny star copyright tail at this moment it has been saved as a dxf file ok the design is saved as a dxf file let's open it in a intelliculture converter and let's see it is saved in youtube here it is and let's convert it let's see how this will run in computer and look at this the simulated path will show you how easy and smoothly this will run. This is an easy way to make your own uh, designs or pantos. I will make more videos and put them on YouTube to show you how easy you can do that as well. These will run in all formats as all formats are uh, recognized DXF. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.